Yeah, good day. Welcome to Martinez Design. In the continuation of our Lucky Style Five Bedroom Design that we are doing, if you are following us from the beginning, you see we were able to design this one as a ground floor plan. The entrance and everything is here in place. Then we design this upper floor. So if you want to see, you can check the playlist or check through the page, and you are going to see the Lucky lifestyle five bedroom so that is the title of this particular project so we are moving on to we in this part we want to design the start working on the elevation and see how far we can design and bring the beauty of this project out so stress stress that up then what you do next is to own the crop and join then expand this Expand it, expand it. Good, so drag it up. So you do the same thing to the northern one. Do the same thing here. Open and expand. Then drag it up. Sorry for my mouse is behaving any hard. So you drag it. So the next one is the is this one. So the same way. So if you want to see, it's not feasible, but if you want to see it, it's just remove the crop. So this one will allow you to see where this is and you, you adjust the crop around the whole design. So you drag it up. So you do the same thing at the back as well. On this very visible then remove this so that you know where it stays you'll be able to know where you are dragging your so after which you don't you can then now decide to see the top to the top then let me drag this in a bit and expand this so you can decide to see okay close and then so that is for that so we cannot be working one after the other on the elevation so the next first thing we want to do is to make the flat roof so we are going to create the level from the side here i'm just going to say go to the elevation of this i mean plant view so i'm going to get a flat roof that's going to slope to the back so how do you do that click here and say go by by footprints the same way so this time around this wall are going to come up and we're going to stay in between so if you want to see something unique and different i implore you to watch this uh, tutorial to the very end and if you are new here kindly subscribe to this channel and let us continue to grow together so trim everything so trim all trim all like that so it's not over because we are just going to use only one slope in this place so select that and say define slope for four then you select this last one extend this a little bit as well because this roof is going to fall out then we say define slope for it and then you change this slope to something like uh, five so from there finish and see what will be say the line cannot so something is there so trim the line and at the same time you finish it up so say no you are not attaching anything so now you go to your 3d or what you will see that this roof is going to be below the foundation and anyway it's supposed to be this is where it will be so but now you need to create where the roof is going to be attached to this is the roof isn't it so now you click here adjust this one stretch it back so can you see so you stretch it back so you click this one and say 
decrease similar. So we have decrease similar equal to the edge. That is 600. I mean 6,000. The next one is going to be 9. It can be let it be 9 meter, which is another 3,000 interval. So then you press escape. Drag this up. After you're done with that, so the next thing for you to do is to now bring this roof. You don't need to go and edit it again. Or you just need to change the position from level move to level four. So change it. Let's say level four. Can you see? So you attach itself straight up to that point. So you can rename this level three to level three. Yes, automatically it's going to change and do the same thing as level uh, 4. So you can change it to the name that you feel like okay, you want to change it. So that is what you've done at this junction. So the next one is to cover the full head. So now you go to level 3. At the level 3, I want to select something that will go around the whole building. So what will I do? I'm going to click on the wall. The wall. Or let me do this way. We can use the same method that we used to use. So go to level two. At the level two, select all instance or all the external wall. More, it will be more easier for you to select all the external walls. So I think this one, these are the walls that we need. So then you say copy to clipboard. So from there you say paste at the selected level level 3 this space so go to your level 3 so what you do is all the windows and just say select all instances in this field you see everything should go so from there you can now decide to say okay modify everything by saying to close this one down close this one down as well so it deletes you don't need that so at that point, you look at what you have created from a sat elevation. You see the, the wall already covered and it's more higher than that one. So what you do next is that you take this one and you say copy again, then paste the selected level, which is level 3, and you see that going up. Can you see? So it's covered up here. So go to level 3 and go and adjust. So click similar thing and then close this down. So you close this one down. You mirror this so that you leave, leave the fitting stuff. Okay. So that's what you do. So at this junction, now what you don't need to now to go to 3D, create a temporary 3D so that you see what you've done. So this is it. This is the house. So what next to do is that you now start developing this one after the other. So I'm going to do what? Let this follow some certain rules. So I select this from uh, level three. I say level three. Select all instances. In this level. Go to this elevation, and then you say. Reduce the height to 2,200. Good. So that is the height that this one is going to take and follow. So that is the elevation for you. So you go to your front, which is the west, and this is how it looks at this junction. So here now we want to develop everything one after the other. So we start by putting the openings for the ground floor. So here we are going to have a long a weighted window so click and say wall then you stick on the stop front stop front wall yeah so you align that that's the 800 so 800 now then you mirror it good so you go to your location West will be so from here now you change the base you can select these two the two of them together since they have the same 
property so you select it to and you see the base let the base be 900 you can apply then let the height let it be 4200 so go up this is now okay you can increase it again 4000 okay i think it will be okay in that manner so it's going to be a long window a long standing window so that is one so you edit this one and say did the boundary go to anywhere in the floor plan and then shift it a little bit from the window perspective so just like dragging it so it's a design it's a simple principle of design you need to follow and take the time to watch everything step by step so you're done with that then you go to your quest and that is it this is what you have created so at this junction you need to create a proper style around this uh, territory so what would you do I'm going to create a normal wall I'm going to use so wall here see fits similar so check whether there is property of one that have something you could fill it so if there is not you decide to create your one and you call it edit just go to architecture click on wall edit property I call this one, duplicate it and call it teamwork. Teamwork. So you click OK, then you change this one, you change it to 10 mm. So you change the property. So I'm going to use something of a siding appearance. So click here, duplicate appearance, and then you put here and adjust. So for me, I use a appearance lively so come to siding then i'm going to use uh, any of this so i want to use clapboard i think clapboard will do for me so clapboard is is what i want to use so you can edit it as well and change the size or softness or whatever you think that okay you want to manipulate or adjust it is a lot of so but for me i'm leaving it that way for now so i say okay okay so that is what i have done so i'm going to draw this on this proper point as i've done it i just like clicking we need to create the last part of it that's the edge yes so for me now you can add click here and see go to west so this is what you have done adjust it to the, to the top you can little bit a little bit higher because of the method of design i want to do i'm taking it to down because i'm still bringing this one from so i'm going to edit one now say edit the profile edit the profile here now i'm going to share this up good so we do the same thing here so that's what you do you close down up and you do so you are seeing that the elevations are coming out one after the you see projected and progressive statements when you are making things right so select uh, level one and you select all instance in this view select an instance in this view so you say copy to clipboard and then you lay it in the foundation so paste here and say align to current view so as you do that you, you do this one to 800 so then you delete on instance everything that are not ready so select every other one again select on instance here then you delete them select all instance here delete them so select all instance here you delete them so now the remaining one you can pick the one after the other and delete the same thing here anyone that you see that remain so from now you close this one up 
we do the same thing here as well. So the four corner rectangular space is being defined. So that is it. So you have this uh, 3D in place. Good. So this is what you have been trying to do this morning. You can cast your shadow on, on it. So it depends on what you want to do. So now, if it's okay by you, you progress. You can just another design that must add to his, his left for you to do. So this is what we have able to create in this pattern. So from here, I'm going to edit this. I don't want that. Uh, so most of these are not, are not are going to be disappeared. So what I mean is that uh, no, I don't want a layout. I don't want a layout horizontally as well. So delete and everything should go. So here, I did this. So what we do, a studio panel, panel system and things like that. So all these ones, I don't need them again. None. 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 At the same time, none. Then, none. So, let's just see. Delete it. So, we we'll go to start elevation. Let's save it. So, this is just the basic design of what we do. So, we have this one in place. And most of them are here so we're going to edit them and remove them vertical bridge not divine bracing no auto embedded yes so interior exterior let's see okay and silver so that's it for that so here we are removing this removing this so the reason why we are removing this is the issue with the uh, so we are taking it back to level one okay yeah, yeah, yeah. this is what they are vision so mirror this yeah. so go to the level one and go and look on memes yeah yeah mm. so that's the that's the amendment that we have made and it is okay at the junction so we proof okay that's it so the next what we do is that you look at the elevations and check around we have finished with what we've done and everything is in the situation whereby it's absolutely so this is the the design well enough at this level so in the next class we are going to repackage the whole system and make everything work